Hello my dear students in the previous video class we learned about a quadratic equation and a basic mathematics for physics so this quadratic equation helps in understanding the concept of mechanics especially in motion in a straight line and motion in a plane chapter now in this video we have to learn about a binomial theorem which helps in gravitation chapter the applications of binomial theorem helps in to understand the concept of gravitation now let us see what it is the binomial theorem according to this theorem according to this theorem 1 plus x to the power of n is equals to 1 plus n into x plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x to the power of 3 plus so on that will continue so according to this binomial theorem 1 plus x to the power of n is equals to 1 plus n into x especially 1 factorial is there 1 factorial becomes 1 that is why we are not taken here so 1 plus n into x plus n into n minus 1 divided by 2 factorial into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by 3 factorial into x cube plus so on that will be continue so this is the binomial theorem so here where mod x is less than 1 where mod x is less than 1 and n is any negative integer or any fraction value that is either positive or negative this fraction value may be positive or negative I hope it is clear so you have to remember you have to remember this expression of binomial theorem in this where mod x is less than 1 this value is lesser than 1 and n is any negative integer any negative integer for example minus 2 n is equals to minus 2 or n is equals to minus 4 like that any negative integer or any fraction value for example n is equals to 1 by 2 fraction value positive value or minus 1 by 2 and here we are using the factorials 2 factorial 3 factorial like that it will come so while finding the factorial general formula is the n factorial i hope you already learned this in the your previous classes so n factorial is equals to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 so on up to till 1 comes for example here 2 factorial how to find that 2 factorial 2 factorial is equals to 2 into 2 minus 1 that is 2 into 1 which is equals to 2 so 2 factorial will be 2 then 3 factorial similar way 3 factorial that is 3 into 3 minus 1 into 3 minus 2 which is equals to 3 into 3 minus 1 that is 3 into 2 then 3 minus 2 into 1 1 comes that is why we will stop here so 3 into 2 into 1 that is 6 so this is the calculation of factorial I hope it is clear so this is about a general form of an binomial theorem 
now see the example one that is expand one plus x the power of minus two so by using the binomial theorem we have to solve this example one that is expand one plus x the power of minus two now here one plus x the power of minus two which is equals to according to the binomial theorem that formula you have to recall now here according to that one plus n into x n into x so n value is here minus two n value is minus two into x so keep it in your mind n value is minus two here so one plus Minus two into x plus n into n minus one. That is minus two into minus two minus one divided by it is two factorial divided by two factorial into x the power of two into x the power of two plus Minus two into minus two minus one minus minus two. Then whole divided by three factorial into x the power of three. That is one plus x the power of minus two is equal to one plus minus two into x plus minus two into. Minus two minus one divided by two factorial into x square plus minus two into minus two into minus one into minus two into minus two divided by three factorial into x cube plus so on. Next, a simplification. Simplification of this. We already know the factorial. Once again, you just recall two factorial is two into one. That is two. Similarly, three factorial, three into two into one, which is equal to six. And simplify that. The next step is one plus x the power of minus two, which is equal to one minus two x, one minus two x, because minus two into x, minus two x, plus. If you can take plus initially. Minus two minus one, that is minus three. Minus two minus one, that is three. You already learned this in your mathematics. The addition, if the two negative number is there, means how to add these two negative numbers. And if one negative number, one positive number is there, means how it will be add up or subtract. So here minus two minus one, that is minus three. Now minus three into minus two. Minus three into minus two. That is plus six. Once again, these things you already learned in mathematics. The multiplications minus into minus plus plus into minus is minus. That things. So here the value is plus six. X square divided by two factorial is two. Two factorial is two plus. Into x cube plus so on. Next, further simplify it. One minus two x plus six x square divided by two. Further simplification. That is one minus two x plus six x square divided by two. Plus here two into three. It is six. Six into four. It is twenty four. But minus into minus plus plus into minus. Minus twenty four. The value answer is minus twenty four divided by six x cube plus so on. Next, which is equals to the final expression one plus x the power of minus two. The expansion of one plus x the power of minus two is one minus two x plus three x square six by two. It is three. And here minus is there minus twenty four by six. 
so 6 4 is a 24 therefore 4 x cube plus so on so this is the expansion of 1 plus x the power of minus 2 is equals to 1 minus 2 x plus 3 x square minus 4 x cube plus so on so here this binomial theorem is applied to expand the term 1 plus x the power of minus 2 the expansion of this 1 plus x the power of minus 2 is 1 minus 2 x plus 3 x square minus 4 x cube plus so on I hope this is clear here in some cases what happens the mod x is much smaller than 1 then what we have to do if mod x is much lesser than 1 then the terms containing a higher power of x then the terms containing a higher power of x can be neglected higher power of x can be neglected when we have to neglect the higher power of x the terms containing higher power of x if the mod x is much lesser than 1 if you compare to the 1 this mod x is very very small then the terms containing higher power of x can be neglected that is if mod x is less than 1 then this expression becomes 1 plus x the power of n is equals to only you have to take 1 plus n into x usually in physics the mod x is very lesser than 1 that's why if much lesser than 1 is there means we have to use this formula 1 plus x the power of n is equals to 1 plus n into x the higher power the terms containing the higher power of x can be neglected so let us see now one or two example which is related to binomial theorem now we will see the example 2 that is evaluate evaluate root 37 now root 37 is I can write it as 37 the power of 1 by 2 I can write it as 37 the power of 1 by 2 which is also equals to I can write it as 37 is at it as 36 plus 1 the power of 1 by 2 because 36 is a exact square of particular a number that is it is a square of a 6 so 6 square becomes 36 so 36 plus 1 the power of 1 by 2 I can write 37 as 36 the plus 1 the power of 1 by 2 now this is in the form of an binomial expression binomial equation so now we have to expand this by using a binomial theorem now let us see 36 plus 1 the power of 1 by 2 which is equals to here I will take 36 common 36 will be common that is 1 plus 1 divided by 36 the power of 1 by 2 will be remaining and 36 is common means 36 the power of 1 by 2. Now here I will write it here if the 36 the power of 1 by 2 root 36 that value we already know that is 6 6 into 1 plus 1 by 36 the power of 1 by 2 we have to solve this by using a binomial theorem so 6 into according to the binomial theorem we have to solve that is 6 into expansion of binomial theorem 1 plus n into x n value is 1 by 2 into x x value is 1 divided by 36 1 divided by 36 plus n into n minus 1 n value is 1 by 2 n into 
एन माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय टू फैक्टोरियल इनटू एक्स स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर इज वन डिवाइड बाय थर्टी सिक्स द होल स्क्वायर प्लस द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स कम्स द थर्ड टर्म एज यूजल एक्स द पावर ऑफ थ्री नाउ हियर फर्दर इफ वी सिंप्लीफाई दिस so 6 into 1 plus 1 by 2 into so 1 divided by 36 is 0.028 if you calculate 1 divided by 36 is 0.028 plus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 1 by 2 minus 1 That is minus one by two divided by two factorial. That is two into zero point zero two eight the whole square plus so on. Now here, if mod x is much lesser than one, then we have to neglect the term which is having a higher power of x. That is. x to the square x cube that term will be neglected why because if you compare to the one this value is very very small so for rounding off to three decimal point the power of this particularly square of 0.028 is a very small value for that purpose we can neglect the remaining terms and only we have to take 6 into 1 plus 1 by 2 into 0.028 only this much we have to take so here 6 into 1 plus 1 by 2 into 0.028 further if we simplify it i'll write it here root 37 is equals to 6 into 1 plus 1 plus is 0.014, which is equals to 6 into 1.014. So finally, root 37. You have to calculate that 6 into 1.014. That is 14.6 the 84. so 6.084 so root 37 value is 6.084 i hope it is understood so that root 37 value is 6.084 so this is the method of evaluating the root 37 by binomial theorem so these are the two different examples so that first one and also this one we are using in physics particularly in a competitive also and already i told in gravitation chapter we have to use the binomial expansion i hope it's clear so let us solve one or two example as a practice purpose that is for you in the next class we'll discuss about another topic which is under basic mathematics for physics we'll continue the part in the next video classes